Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube. And this morning, Nuki have announced the Nuki Ultra. So let's talk about that. So over last week, Nuki have been teasing something for this morning over a whole variety of videos on their YouTube channel. These have also been posted on their social media and have kind of been 10 to 12 seconds of someone talking about how they want to build something better with no compromises, but maybe they could also make it smaller. And there's been a bit of speculation about what no compromises means, but we do now know. And this means the Nuki Ultra. Now, the biggest thing to talk about this is with the design. So let's take a look at that because this thing has a design that is much smaller than the other Nuki devices and kind of looks like the top of a Nuki with the rest removed. And initial impressions of this are, this is a pretty crazy looking smart lock. It looks really modern. It's also small. And I think it's gonna look really nice on people's front doors. And I don't know what you think, but I really like this rounded design. And we know from some of the videos that some of those rings are gonna be interchangeable. So you can personalize it a little bit as well. If we keep talking about the design as well, we know that it is a design with a brushless motor. Now, Nuki say this is something commonly used in electric vehicles, but it's the first time this has been used on a smart lock. What this means is that this lock is gonna be able to unlock your door faster than ever before. And it's gonna offer three different modes. So it's gonna offer a gentle mode, which is 1.5 times faster than their existing smart locks. It's gonna offer a standard mode, which is 2.6 times faster. And then it's also gonna offer a insane mode, which is 3.4 times faster. This is fantastic for getting into your home quicker. And it also sounds a little bit like that gentle mode is gonna be very similar to the mode we've seen on the Akara U200, where it can open slowly to reduce noise. Of course, until we can get our hands on one of these, we have no idea how loud this is going to be. But with that brushless motor, I am expecting it to be much quieter than previous Nuki models. Of course, as we'd expect from Nuki, given their kind of product offering over the last year, this is Matter over Thread compatible. That means it's gonna work with Apple Home, Alexa, and Google Home as well, without the need for an additional hub, because something like your HomePod Mini will act as your home hub. We also know it's gonna have built-in Wi-Fi. In addition to that, in what is quite a big change for Nuki, they're actually going to include their own cylinder with this lock. Now this is a three star cylinder, so this is great news because it's gonna be really secure for your front door. It also will still open with a key from the outside, so it'll keep the same features we've seen with Nuki locks in the past. That means from the outside, no one will have a clue that you have a smart lock. Of course, it also means that there's an emergency function so you can still get in from the outside with a key and non-tech savvy family members or pet sitters can still get in without the need for an app. Nuki have also said it's going to include a built-in rechargeable battery, which can be charged while the lock is on your door, but also by removing it. This is great for making sure your door is always gonna be in action. They've also said if you've got an existing Nuki smart lock, there's gonna be an easy way to migrate data from that to the new lock. What this all means in my opinion is that Nuki might have just created the best locking, most secure smart lock on the market. But when I said no compromises, in my opinion, there is still a compromise with the Nuki smart lock. And that is the lack of Apple home key support for Apple users. And this is something people have been talking about for a really long time with the Nuki smart locks. And in my opinion, something that gives the Akara U200 a big advantage. And I've been using that smart lock for the last six months now. And it's fantastic because you do just wave your wrist at the lock and it opens. One of the really interesting things, however, about HomeKey is that in their development forums, Jürgen Panzi, who's part of the product team, has said this. I can confirm we're working on it and have some progress. As usual, we won't break any news here in the forum, but there will be some news shared on our blog over the coming weeks and months, so stay tuned. Now, that was back in June, and we have still not heard anything. And that's a bit odd, because I'd expect with the launch of his Ultra, we would probably also hear something about HomeKey. However, that post does suggest we are likely to hear something at any moment. Of course, if they do announce something, I'll make sure I post a video on it. But jumping back to the Nuki Ultra, there's two more things to ask about this product. When can you get it and how much is it going to cost? Now at the moment, Nuki haven't opened this for pre-orders, but you can put your email address into a field on their website and get a notification when it's available to pre-order. All Nuki have said in terms of availability is that it will be available soon. In terms of cost, however, Nuki have said it's going to be £309. Now that does put it about £55 more than a fourth gen Nuki Pro. However, it does include the cylinder as well. And if you buy that cylinder separately, it does cost you about £80. And given you're gonna get everything you need in this package, I don't think it's too bad value. So all in all, a really interesting announcement from Nuki and a really nice looking smart lock. And I can't wait to try this out. 
For me, however, the make or break for this lock isn't gonna be about its speed or its compatibility. It's gonna be about if Nuking can get Apple HomeKey. Because in my opinion, that's the thing that they're lagging behind with at the moment and something they really need to sort out. If you've got any thoughts about the Nuki Ultra, stick them below. If you've got any questions, stick them below as well and I'll see if I can answer those for you. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys again soon.